Welcome everybody to Flavors of New York. Ron and Lauren coming at you. We're at Carnegie Diner and Cafe right in the middle of Manhattan. What are we, 57th and 7th Ave? We should this. probably get on the sidewalk so we don't get hit by a car. It's a very busy street, but we're so excited to go into Carnegie Diner and Cafe to try their pastrami, their cakes, everything they want to give us. We're ready. And, and please vote who's more chic today. Look at these outfits. Give it up. You've got to make a decision. We're going in. Let's go. Let's Hey there, I'm Jen Trepic of Salad with a Side of Fires podcast here in the heart of Greenwich Village for Flavors of New York for some authentic Belgian fries at Palm Frites. Let's head on in. So we are here at Diller. Obviously they're famous for pickles at the corner of Grand and Essex. So let's go in and have some pickles. Hey, 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 it's your girl Letter J, one of your hosts of Flavors of New York, and I am standing in the heart of Williamsburg on Bedford, and we are about to check out Machina. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Kaylin Palufo for Flavors of New York. Welcome. We are at uh, Three Bowls Ramen here in Woodside, Queens. I'm so excited. We're going to taste some miso ramen, we're gonna taste some bao buns. It's gonna be fantastic. So come on in and let's go taste some food. Hey everybody, it's Joe DiStefano, your very own culinary king of Queens, here with Flavors of New York on the Upper East Side for Thai food at Sab Bhutan, a restaurant that has its roots in Queens and Thailand. Come with me to Northern Thailand. Hey, I'm Jonathan Forgash, Queens Together. We are here in Astoria, and we're about to check out Cafe Turkey for Flavors of New York. Come with me. Hi, I'm Enid O'Brien. I'm one of the hosts of Flavors of New York. We're here in Midtown West on West 56th Street at Shinjuku. We're about to head in and try some amazing ramen. Come join us. Hey, it's Michael Quinn here at Flavors of New York. I'm here in chic Murray Hill. At the Waddle Cafe, we're gonna have Aussie-inspired waffles. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Chaplain Lucy Siegel for Flavors of New York here in Hell's Kitchen. And we're about to have some Colombian food at El Cartel. Join me. Hey everyone, it's Joe Cosentino of Morris Park Realty. Today we're gonna have lunch at Enzo's of Williams Bridge. So let's go on in. Hello, I'm Sidra Robertson here with Flavors of New York, and we're here in Mott Haven visiting Mexico Cena. Let's go and enjoy some food. Hey guys, Chingy Seats here again. Here we're in the Lower East Side at a brand new Korean restaurant, modern Korean, called 8282. So let's go check it out. Welcome everybody to another episode of Flavors of New York. I'm Ron Barber with my beautiful co-host. Victoria Tova, hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Jayla Mercer. I'm here in East Williamsburg with Flavors of New York. And today we're going to have Korean food at East K. Come with me. So guys, I'm here with the executive chef of Clinton Hall, Daryl. He's going to explain what we have here. Hi, I'm Lilia. I'm here for Flavors of New York. I'm here on 32th Street in K-Town. We're going to visit a Korean gastro pub and bar called Bangia. Come with me. All right, so I thought we would never get out of Queens. We're here at Flavors of New York on their Upper East Side. Lauren says she's in the mood for Italian. I am. I want some Italian. And look. Right here is the perfect restaurant to go. Hot Joey Pepe. Wow. <laughs> perfect. Let's do it. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul De Silvio. Ralph Squiggy Squalanti. Pauly Pistols. We're here at the world famous Arthur Avenue Retail Market to show you how Dave Greco makes his world famous mozzarella. vegetarian and gluten-free empanadas. Mmm. This 
This is delicious. Delicious. I live not far from here, and I ordered, this is my local Mexican joint, where I order my food, vegetable burritos, salad, I get the empanadas. We're here today at Mamoya on the Upper West Side. One of my favorite things about the Upper West Side, and really New York throughout the whole city, is you can literally have almost any type of cuisine. Uh, one of my personal favorites, and one that's quite popular these days, is Japanese food, so I'm super psyched to check out Mamoya. I'm Kelly Kreth. Today we're on the Upper East Side and we're going to explore Indian cuisine at Ashoka. This is beautiful. I see lobster. In, uh, is this a sort of curry? Uh, this is a lobster masala, which is a sort of a, a curry preparations like. And uh, the lobster cooked together with that, with the Indian spices. And there's a lobster mashallah, which is a specialized of, of our kitchen of my chef. Back in the New York flavors. Yeah, I'm back. Back in the flavors of New York, everybody. Cheese. Cheese. It's got yeah. cheese. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of onions. Onions. I've never had a burger like this. I've never had it in bread Absolutely. like this. And with all these different, the, the onions and everything. It looks like a cholesterol unfriendly bun. I love cholesterol. <laughs> and and it's, it's deep in my, in my blood cells. So good, mm -hmm. Hey everyone, we're here on the Upper East Side for another episode of Flavors of New York. Today, we're gonna try a Greek restaurant. It's new, it's called Yasu Vlaki. I love Greek food, so I'm excited. Let's check it out. Hey, Michael Ryan here with NYC by Pub. I'm here at the legendary McSorley's Ale House with Gregory De La Abba. That's right. And uh, we're going to chat a little bit about the pub today. And it's McSorley's Old Ale House. Old Ale House. That's right. Hi, my name is Maria de Jesus Castellon, and we are here in the East Village at Nomad Restaurant serving Moroccan Algerian cuisine. And we're about to meet Mahani, the owner. Hi, my name is Ariel Acayo, and I want to welcome all of you to the Immigrant Wine Bar in the East Village. Hi, I'm Lita Fay. And I'm Danny Fallon. And we're here with Flavors of New York. We're here to check out Steam. It's a uh, new restaurant on 6th Avenue in West Village. They're known for their Chinese dumplings and noodles. Can't wait. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Let's go. Hi, I'm Melissa Almanor, and I'm the marketing director for the Harlem Tourism Board. Hi, I am George Santius, the treasurer for the Harlem Tourism Board. We are live in Harlem, getting ready to explore some hidden gems, um, getting ready to taste some great cuisine, and getting ready to have a little bit of drinks. So we're out here. We want to show you all the great places that you should come to and um, see why we love Harlem. Mike has been in this neighborhood for a really long time, so he puts his Italian twist on a lot of those things. I know the pizza is phenomenal. And Hi, this is Monica Prestia from Stefani Style. I'm here at Tangra today in Sunnyside, Queens, visiting this amazing Asian Indian fusion restaurant. I can't wait to try it. I'm Andrew Riggi of the New York City Hospitality Alliance. We're on Flavors of New York. We are here 30 stories up at the Skylark and I'm about to speak with an industry icon, David Raven. Summertime in the city, Flavors of New York. I'm Ron Barba with my co-host Lauren. And today we have another special guest mm -hmm. walker with us, Micah. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy to be here. What do you think about Argentinian food? I'm yeah. down. Let's go. What's this place? Let's oh, what is it? Sabor. Sabor. Argentina. Argentina. Let's do it, guys. Sabor Argentina. Let's check it out on 7th Avenue. Yes. Should we cheers the empanadas? And I'm going to go with this cheers. one. Which is that one? What's that one? That one is, is particular. That one has our logo on the empanada, which is Sabor Argentino. It's, um, it's a beef that we cut it in pieces. It's not ground beef, it's just real steak. Real steak. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Sabor Argentina. Oh, thank you. What is in this, Alessandro? 
Okay, we have a lot of stuff inside. Uh, we have a different type of meat, which is a skier steak, short ribs, a flap steak. We have chicken. We have an Argentinian sausage. We have an Argentinian blood sausage. We have sweet bread. We have, I don't know if I say chicken. And we have also a liver. And the other stuff that is impossible for me to say in English, we, we call chi, uh, chinchulines. Now this is excellent for parties. Am I correct in saying that? Yes. You, you would bring a group of like seven, eight, nine people here and just order two of these and it's just, and it stays hot because there's coal underneath. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. It's, it's good for three or four people. Excellent for parties. Yeah. Spicy miso. Ooh, baby. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be spicy? It is. All right. It's gonna blow my hair back. That's what's gonna happen. So, we'll see. <laughs> All right, now it's time to try the spicy miso ramen. She has warned me three times that it is spicy. So, uh, I think it's really gonna be spicy. <laughs> and we'll be able to taste for about three weeks, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Pogged my glasses up, it's so hot. Here we go. <laughs> but it is very. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> she wasn't lying. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is magic. So good. Not to be missed in New York City. Well, Suzanne, thank you so much for having us at Palm Free. Truly delicious, a gem of the city, and we're so glad that you reopened. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's great to be back. That's Palm Free, Belgian fries for flavors of New York. We got what we call it, La Ayuda from Oaxaca. It's natural from Oaxaca, the tortilla we get it from Oaxaca. It has black beans, it has queso Oaxaca, what is also being called quesillo, Mexican sauces, and a little bit of amis greens. And we top it up with the homemade spicy sauce. The spicy sauce is amazing. All right. Thank you so much. This looks amazing. Should I do everything together? Yeah, definitely. Like, get, get everything? A little, a little bit of everything. All, all okay, this. so cool. this is the dish that lost to Bobby Flay. I was gonna say a curse word about Bobby Flay, but I won't, I won't. <laughs> all right, looks really hot, I'm scared. Hot. I know, I know, I'm gonna burn my, look at this, I'm gonna burn my mouth so hard. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh. That melts in your mouth. I hate it. Oh my god, cornflakes have never been that good. Like ever. You're gonna taste this. Okay, this is very savory. Okay. And I feel like in honor of your Italian culture, it's mozzarella. So as a consummate lover of Korean cuisine, this cornucopia of items is my heaven in a bowl right now. now first I'm Ron Barba. And I'm Lisa Mond. And welcome to another segment of Flavors of New York. We're at 15 Thompson Street at Jimmy Soho and Lisa. These views are just unbelievable. We're on top of the hotel. What hotel is that? Yes, that's the rooftop of the Modern House Hotel. Oh my gosh. What's up everyone? It's your girl Letta J here with Flavors of New York. We're here at Zona de Cuba on the rooftop of the post office. We are so excited. We're gonna try some authentic Cuban cuisine. We're gonna meet the owner. We're gonna do a little bailando. And we're gonna meet some great people that are excited about all of this greatness. You'll be ahead. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Can't wait. It's amazing. Mm. 
It was delicious. So, with Turkish coffee, you do not finish it because what you'll find out is that the grounds are in the bottom and they're not strained out. And if you drink it all down, you'll end up with uh, grounds on your on your face. That is delicious. A uh, lot, lot more cow from uh, Payao with uh, roasted uh, spice blend, very particular. Probably the, the only restaurant in New York City serving this dish. Mm. All right, Mac. Very, very, very good. You notice you, you eat sticky rice with your hands. <laughs> So we're just going to pour the cheese right over the fondue burger. That's what makes it special. So we just take a little bit of the cheese, stir it up here, and just drip it right over. Oh my God, look at that. Holy jeez. And then... Holy cheese. The extra cheese that's in here, you can dip your french fries on the side right in that. So we give you enough just for everything. I am in a fondue cheeseburger paradise at Clinton Hall. So finally, what I've been waiting for the most is this chocolate cake. I cannot wait to dive in. Um, it's a 24 layer cake because seven layers isn't enough, obviously. Uh, wrong. Chocolate heaven. Are you kidding me? Oh. This is so good. How good is this? This is my favorite dessert of all time, I think. Wow. This is incredible. 24. Thank wow. you so much. I feel like Thank you milk. so much for having us here. Mm. Come get the 24 layer, oh get gosh. the pastrami, get all the desserts. They have drinks here right across from Carnegie Hall. You know you know how to get to Carnegie Hall? 57 and 7. 57 and 7. He said it. Flavors of New York, thank you so much for having mm. us. Carnegie Diner. Thank you for coming. Thank you.